How's it going everyone? It's Josh here with American Wilderness. Today, we're gonna be reviewing and comparing a couple different crawfish traps. We have a soft netting crawfish trap from GearBest.com, and then we just have your normal run-of-the-mill uh, you know, cage crawfish net that has two funnels on either side. Crawfish go in, they can't get out. It's kind of the same concept on this one. Crawfish go in, they can't get out. But there's uh, four holes in this one, two on this one. So uh, let's see how they do. All right guys, so we just pulled the crawfish traps out of the water. They both caught three crawfish. The ones in the soft cage are a bit smaller than the ones in the big cage. So you can see there's three pretty good sized crawfish in this one. And then there is three decent sized, kind of small sized crawfish in that one. And um, you know, they both worked. When we found this one in the water after 12 hours, we let them sit for 12 hours. When we found this one, it was upside down. So uh, that's one of the disadvantages of the soft net is uh, it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. So it can pretty easily in the current get flipped around. So I recommend uh, either somehow staking it to the ground or throw a couple rocks in there to kind of weigh it down. Um, and this one caught three big crawfish. I think this one maybe worked a little bit better or just got lucky because uh, maybe the crawfish could find their way into a harder cage a little bit easier than finding their way into a softer cage. But uh, this one, the advantages are you don't have to worry about it getting tossed around in the current. It's a pretty hefty cage. Um, these are available at basically all outdoor stores. Uh, not sure exactly what brand this is. We got it a couple of years ago and it's, it's held up fine. So just visit your local uh, outdoor store if you want to find a cage like this one. But um, yeah, the upside is it doesn't blow around at all. Downside is it doesn't pack down as well as this one. As you can see in the beginning of the video, this one packed down nice and tight and fit into a bag, which is an advantage. It does have more assembly though than uh, this one. You just clip it together after throwing some bait in there and dump it in the water. So, you know, they both have their advantages. They both have their disadvantages. So, yeah, it's really personal preference. Uh, honestly, I think I prefer the soft one just because of its uh, compactability. Uh, you can just throw it in your pocket even if you can pack it down enough. Uh, again, we got this one from GearBest.com. The folks over there sent us this to uh, test out and try out, and I think it worked pretty well. The netting held up all right, which uh, was a little worry for me because uh, netting versus a hard cage, you know, um, you know, I just thought maybe it wouldn't hold up as well, but it seems to hold up fine. A little bait net in there for the chicken, held the chicken in there fine. Um, just so it wouldn't blow out any of the holes or anything like that. This one had in there fine too. Uh, this is this chicken from the night before that we cooked up. And yeah, so they both did their job. They both worked all right. Uh, you know, it's personal preference. So 
Thank you guys again for watching. I'm Josh with American Wilderness, and I'll catch you guys next time.